So, Bigfoot, Sasquatch, and most notably known to people in Falk, Arkansas as the Falk Monster. Got that right. Mm -hmm. For years, many of you may have questioned the ape-like humanoid's existence, <laughs> asking yourselves, is Bigfoot really out there? Fox 16 Suzanne Brunner explores just that in a special report. And Suzanne, this actually stems from the news story you did back in November, right? That's definitely right. Here's a screenshot of a story I covered back in November showing the possible creature in the deer woods of Ida north of Heber Springs. Big Bigfoot researchers brought this to my attention saying this could be Bigfoot. What do you think? Well, I took this image to people in fact where many tell me Bigfoot has been haunting them for years. <laughs> In the heart of southwest Arkansas lies Falk, a small town with a big legend. Almost everyone you bump into has seen... As far as the size, at least the cone shape of the head, the black eyes... ...or heard... Gah. And that's what it sounds. ...about the Falk monster. It was probably right in here or so by a roll of hay. Sightings of the ape-like creature around Falk date back to 1908. Eyewitnesses describe it six to nine feet tall, up to 400 pounds, with brownish red or black hair and unusually long arms. Most sightings in the dense woods and along waters that lead to Boggy Creek. This is where William Lunsford would hound her with the hairy beast nearly 40 years ago. And he began to stand up and he lifted this branch and he kept standing and he kept standing and he kept standing and, and I immediately just freeze. A 17 year old William was fishing when he spotted Bigfoot 45 yards away squatting by a tree. I can't hardly breathe. There's tears that are streaming down my face and I've actually wet my pants. The encounter now a continuous video loop. The emotion from that April day still fresh. I can see everything just just as it happened. I can feel everything just as it, it's been so many years ago but it so affected my life. He's not alone. Many people in Falk have had similar encounters but spread quickly across the U.S. <laughs> Soon directors translated those stories on film. <laughs> And in books. Eventually, the legendary beast made a name of its own here in Falk. You can find movie posters, books, newspaper clippings, and memorabilia inside the town's museum. Another story recorded was Heather Owens's. Right here, uh, I slammed on my brakes, and it was probably from me to you. In 2011, Heather was driving down Williams Road in the dead of the night. In an open field behind a bale of hay, Heather says Bigfoot stood up. All this was smashed down along with the fence. Whether it's a smashed down fence. Or you can actually see part of the finger, part of the hand. Or a hand and footprint cast. I'm skeptic. Wayne Combs. Seeing is believing, I guess. Isn't buying it. I don't think I can believe in, I don't see as God. The 78 year old born and raised in Falk has hunted and fished Boggy Creek for years without finding a trace. He must be a magician or he can fly because where's all the tracks? Even if there were footprints, another skeptic says it's not enough. If we could have just one strand of hair, drop of blood. Even skeletal proof. You know, we found bones from dinosaurs from thousands of years ago, but we can't find one set of bones from Bigfoot. He don't like cameras. I haven't found a picture yet. I've got cameras myself. No one in Falk has been able to capture a photo of the ape-like humanoid. There are only sketches of the beast from memory. You're not going to capture one. Oh, they're extremely fast. However, Fox 16 may have uncovered something. A Bigfoot researcher took this screenshot image of a possible Bigfoot sighted in my news story in November. What do you think? Um, that is very much the body shape of the Bigfoot that I saw. Yeah, possibly. The possibilities are there. And then there's this, a baby Bigfoot attached to the arm. You kind of see the that's outline sure of it? That's your sure What do you think about that? Uh, I think that's pretty doggone close. Those who have seen and believe are now avid researchers, regularly scouting the woods and the creek, tracking prints and hoping to prove its existence. The family roamed this former soybean field to feed, leaving behind a number of tracks. This right here is the last remaining footprint cast made back in 1971. It measures at about 14 inches. Many now garner a collection, a piece of the puzzle. You can see there was one of the toes, one of the toes right there. 
they hope can have a peculiar and legendary mystery. I feel like I've truly seen, quote, the eighth wonder of the world. I've seen something that does exist that's not supposed to exist. For now, its existence will continue to lie in secrecy among the murky woods and waters in fact. Now, Bigfoot researchers tell me there is more than one Bigfoot, and they a actually travel in groups. <laughs> oh, baby Bigfoot. I thought that was cute. It's possible. to his arm, a baby Bigfoot. Yeah, they <laughs> zoomed in that close to oh find that small goodness. image clinging to the arm. But I tell you what, I mean, they, they were convinced that they had seen yeah. oh, something. Yeah. So Except I mean, for the skeptic. Well, yeah, no. he, was he was quite a, the character. A, a magician, yeah. or he must be able to fly. He was born and raised in Fowl. Wow.